All right, what's good with y'all, bro? It's Bior. I got a serious video today, as I see in the title. Freak neat, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So as I see here, I'm not going to do a lot of talking because I did some research and I got some clips that actually going to do the talking for y'all, right? I'm just here just to bring the video to y'all, to y'all, you know what I'm saying? To y'all attention. So if you new to if you new to my channel, subscribe, or like, hit the bell, do all that good stuff, you know. And um basically basically from what's from some of the clips I seen, Freak Neat is basically basically the spring break that Atlanta that the Atlanta student used to get together to and just have fun and just chill with each other. And at first it started just between the college kids, but it became so popular so now other people start coming in, basically. So as y'all see, Freak Neat was going on for some time and then y'all gonna see in the video so much BS start happening. Like dudes can't control themselves, fighting, killing, all type of crazy stuff start happening so you had to shut it down. You know? So yeah. If y'all see any of y'all family members, hey, <laughs> my apologies. All right, I ain't about to talk no more. Uh, sometimes you can hear them coming. Yes, yeah, really yeah, kind. Oh, yeah, the vibration. Yes, the shop came. A lot of bass. And woofers and all that, whatever they call them, you know. <clears throat> I didn't understand the music that was coming out of it, but it had a lot of vibration going to it. You know, the way that music is, they liable to be deaf by the time they turn 30 years old. Oh. This is a good baby. Get, get on the back of a truck and ride around. Especially in this environment, because you got women coming from everywhere. So everywhere. you definitely want to see everything you want to see. That they ugly. You ain't going to want to stay and party with them. Have a good time. Come on, ride it up. Come on, ride it up. But if they cute and they don't have a system, then you won't want to stop and talk to them. What the, what the girls doing? Free code! <laughs> I find my future wife. Uh, uh, he just came out the hotel. He sat on the sidewalk down there. The first three. And he went to the next car to say, hey. Gal was just hanging out in the back and the police stopped us. It was just, they, the day was a bad day. It was in a bad mood. Don't knock me off the desk. Why can't people get out of their car? I do nothing. They said I was on the back of a truck. Riding crazy. I'm going to ride. Just driving and off a ride. This is long. There's definitely lessons to find to be learned from this. <laughs> yeah, just a small version of Mardi Gras in Atlanta on Martin Luther King Drive. This is undoubtedly the largest step show we've ever been in. And um, probably the, the biggest we ever be in unless we come back next year. Well, I think we're good. I, I, I think that we can pull us out. We step enthusiastically and most of all, step like ourselves, yo. That's what the thing about it. What it takes to win this show, we already got. Then that's when I need. 
But, but, but yeah, cool. at the freak Nick, they, they, they ripping their clothes off, calling them bitches and hoes. I don't think that's, you should you should do that to a sister. I'm saying though. Yeah, I'm saying about that is like, y'all saw what I had on when y'all first met me. Yeah. I had on a little shorter, yeah, that's but that didn't mean I was less intelligent. Yeah. That didn't mean I was asking you to grab my ass. Yeah. If I was walking around, you know, and I bent oh, over, and, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? If you were dressing appropriately, shorts, I don't care how much intelligence you got, I don't see intelligence, I see your naked flesh. Now, I would not grab your body, but there are people that will. They will, right. So, you should dress appropriately. I resent that statement because, you know, that's just me. I had a little shirt on, I had a little shorts on. I got it, I can flown it. Just the party atmosphere, it's right. kind of like being at a ball game. Once everything gets going and you're walking around naked and you get grabbed, don't come crying at the end and say, oh, well, I didn't know I was going to get raped. Or I didn't know I was going to get funny. You can't say that because the sister's walking around down here showing a lot of her body that she is asking to be raped. That is that, that is just her saying that's, that that's not she is anybody. showing that's her body. She is a beautiful woman. black woman who is taking pride in herself. She has it, so she can show it. Please. The bottom line is when females come out here half dressed, half naked, they're asking for negative attention. Let's look at our ancestors. Amen. So we walked around in Africa naked, and our brothers and our, our brothers was not raping our sisters in Africa. You know what I'm saying? No. Majority of them, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta respect y'all, our black sisters, yo. You know what I'm saying? These are our sisters no matter what. You know what I'm saying? You can't call them bitches and hoes, yo. It's your sister. It's good that you just can't come back and recapture next weekend or the weekend after next. And, you know, even though it's been some bad stuff going on, I mean, the Auburn Fest and the Step Show, I mean, it's just a, a unified time for black people. I'm, I think we all need that. You know, it was just, just amazing. We just had to be here. We really had to be here. Alright, so as y'all see, we gradually getting worse and worse. We went from black excellence to now black idiocy. Alright, so as y'all see, you got these kids right here. Just, I don't know why they even doing this. Like, First of all, this is dangerous. As you see, the car just back up into them. But it's not even the worst part. So y'all see the stuff that highlight. Yes, these are girls who basically got SA. Like dudes running behind them, just grabbing them. them these dudes chasing them. They surrounding them by walls and stuff like that. By the car, they making, then letting them get out. These girls really have to fight for their lives. And I'm pointing, I point them all out for y'all. Y'all going to see it, bro. These girls are fighting for y'all lives. Y'all zoom in. Yeah, y'all got the pause. Look, these girls fighting for their lives, bro. They trying to run away from all these dudes surrounding them. And this, you, you see this girl here. She throwing hands. Like, right, hold on, y'all, y'all make, y'all make people. She has throwing hands. Y'all see it? Trust me. See, you see, you see that little swipe. She actually throwing hands. She punching the dude off her. Like, that's really how bad it got. And this is doing the end, like, 98, 99. So this this how you know it was the beginning coming to an end. Some dudes came to keep their hands to themselves. Like, they just harming girls for no reason. Like, it's just weird. Now, I actually got some clips of some of the victims who actually been through that. And I'm going to let y'all listen to that. But like I said, I'm not talking no more. I'm going to let I'm gonna let the victims take over. As y'all see, this is so disgusting, bro. So, yeah, I'm going to let the victims take over accounts were pulled from a car on the way to a restaurant and in this woman's case simply trying to leave work imagine a hundred guys on top of you and you don't know why screaming and taking off our shirt and they just had it pinned up in this corner and my other sister you know she was she was fighting and one guy hit her in the head with a bottle and 
they cut her head like right here and I looked up and I saw her and I started crying. And they dragged me on the ground and just start just start ripping at all my clothing. Just start ripping, ripping, ripping. And we plan to have their stories tomorrow. Black College Spring Break, Freaknik. It was supposed to be one great big picnic in the park. A lot of fun, but it's become something very different. And now even some college students don't even want to participate. I don't like it at all. She doesn't like it, and she doesn't go because of scenes like this one. A young woman posing for a picture becomes a target and a victim, having to fight her way out of a sea of hands grabbing and fondling. As a parent, you know, I saw things on the streets that I would never want my son to participate in, and I would definitely hurt someone if my daughter had been assaulted in some of the way. Atlanta Police Department says there were four rapes reported in the city during Freak Nick. Six complaints filed about being groped. There's no telling how many weren't reported. What happens on the street in Freak Nick would never be allowed any other two, maybe even barely one second away from getting raped, big time. I looked down and I don't have a sweater on anymore. My sunglasses was ripped off my head. Diamond ring missing. The only thing we could do is just fight to try to get away, but we couldn't. There was just so many of them. We saw this scene in Midtown Atlanta and described having just left work downtown. We got out the car and we closed the door and then bam, it happened. It Jessica happened. Latimer it's described it's trying to get out of the car and walk to a McDonald's to eat. But we kind of wanted to just see what was going on. We couldn't get Student Stacy Lloyd the describes going out with her roommate and, after um, getting off a restaurant job. Remember all that freaknik traffic? She suggests traffic was part of a series of events that led to finding herself someplace she hadn't set out to be and in trouble. And some guy jumps into the driver's, side, uh, driver's seat of the car. So we start fighting in the car. I'm going like this and drilling him in the chest and in the, in the face with my feet. And so someone opens up the passenger jo door and pulls me out of the car and they drag me on the ground. They ripped my skirt, my underwear was ripped. One of my sisters, she had her, um, she had guys reaching up under her dress, you know, trying to fill and everything. I had my dress ripped off. And um, my, my roommate, she had her chest fondled with and everything. And then my other sister, you know, he was, she was fighting and one guy hit her in the head with a bottle. I started screaming like, help, help. At this time, they just started attacking us, you know, tearing off my sweater. My friend got behind me because she's smaller than me. So by this point in time, they done pushed us to over here. It seemed like the crowd was getting bigger and bigger, just full of guys over here thinking a freak show going on, and it's not. I mean, I have bruises in my skin from the marks where the guys... Right there, that's from what happened. Right. And the door was locked. The force of the crowd was so that they pushed us through this door. It broke the glass door. We were so nervous and scared that we couldn't crank up the car. And so the policemen came. Everybody, when they heard the siren, everybody just, like, scattered. The only thing that saved me from getting raped was a man yelled out police. Heaven sent, I, I, you know, I assume. It was this one guy, and wherever he may be at, may God bless you, because, I mean, he was like, you know, it was just him, and the guy was just trying to, like, get him and throw him out the way. He was still in between me and my girlfriends. It was like, you know, y'all calm down. You know, they ain't like that. They ain't like that. Go somewhere else. And it was like, I don't, you must have